since Google Optimize went sunset, I believe around September 2023, there haven't been clear go-to alternatives. The alternatives remaining in the market were always a bit overbloated with features making your site slow or very overly priced with a big gap um, and hard to access for users who are not ready to spend thousands of dollars for a simple A-B test solution. So let me show you what I believe is the current best alternative to a tool like Google Optimize right now in the market. The tool I'm going to show you is called Stellar. Go stellar.app is the domain for it. Perhaps the three main reasons why it's a great alternative are that it's super easy to use, it's really, really fast, and it has a free forever tier. Just how fast it is? Well, it's up to 20 to 25 times faster than mainstream alternatives in the market. This is because it's very simplified. It's served on a CDN cache and it's super, super lightweight. Um, it doesn't have unnecessary features, so the script size to download is really, really small. Now let's dive in in a quick demo so you can see whether this tool suits your need or not. The tool is compatible with pretty much any website, Shopify, Webflow, WordPress, custom website. You can integrate it with Google Analytics, no problem. Let's see how we can create an experiment. Stellar supports two types of experiments, which are A-B experiment and split URL experiment. A split URL experiment is basically an experiment where you define an entry point being a static URL. And um, this is more suitable maybe in scenarios where, where you have big layout changes. So instead of making small changes with an editor, you're just providing um, a variant URL for your variations, right? And you can have as many as you want, but you will typically have your entry point URL and then variant B, variant C, all of which are gonna be different URLs to which the user is redirected to, depending on the traffic allocation you've set. It's very straightforward, so uh, we'll focus mainly on AV types of experiments. For these types of experiments, um, you start again by defining a URL and you can always get more specific in the URL target rules. For example, um, if I were to wanna target this landing page, which is my homepage of an example website. I can just provide this URL, confirm my changes. But perhaps I have an e-commerce store and I wanna target um, all of my product pages, in which case I could set a rule such as, I wanna target all pages where the URL contains the string forward slash products forward slash. This would allow me to set up an experiment in all of my product pages. Let's go to our experiment now. We can define a target audience based on device rules. I could target mobile, desktop, tablet. I could tar target based on country, exclude or include as many as I want. And um, I can also target based on visitor type, new versus returning visitors. Let's say I'm running a pay-per-click campaign and I wanna exclude or include specific traffic stemming from this campaign, maybe it's a Google Ads campaign. I can do that, do that as well. I would need to set advanced URL rules and um, target based on query parameters. So I could say I want to target only users containing ETM source equals to Google, right? Or exclude them if I want to. Let's see how we can edit our variant. This is a very simple process. We can either use custom CSS or JavaScript or work with our visual editor. Um, we initiate a sort of interactive experience inside of your website. Once you installed our snippet, this allows you to click around and make um, copy changes. You can use dynamic keyword insertion to work with geo variables. This would replace the city keyword with the actual user's city. You can make um, all sorts of AI um, assisted changes. I could, for instance, get um, H1 recommendations in this example. You can edit um, elements with AI as well. For, for instance, I might say, give this title a nice blue gradient color. So you definitely don't need to be tech savvy to work with this. You can move elements around. You can hide elements if you wish to. For now, let's confirm our changes. Save and finish. We are almost ready to launch. Now we just need to set up a conversion. We've got a bunch set up, which I can already use, um, but if you're starting from scratch, you can always set up a click-based conversion, providing a, a query selector, or one based on page visits. For now, I'm going to track visits to the sign-up page, and I can 
track as many as secondary conversions as they want to. So it's great to get uh, further insights of on your user's behavior. Before launching, let's decide on the allocation. So right now it's set to 50-50. I'm going to do 99 to 1 so that you guys can see um, for demo purposes how the variant rendering works. And now we're ready to launch basically. There we go. Let's see what happens um, when I visit my site, just how fast we can get uh, the results. So you didn't see any flicker and here we have our edited variant with the changes we just performed. We can see that again. It's really, really fast. Um, yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it regarding experiment creation. Let me show you an experiment that has a bit more data so you can understand what sort of stats you'll have to make uh, decisions. So this is a current ongoing experiment I have on my homepage. And you will get an understanding on conversion rate. You can switch from unique to total conversions, switch among the different conversions you're tracking get an, an insight on uh, the statistical significance of your experiment. This one is still in the early days. And you can always understand user behavior based on segments like the ones we saw earlier, new versus returning visitors, and users with certain UTM parameters coming from specific origins, which is a referrer of the user. This is all you will need to make um, a guess on which is the, performing, the better performing variant. Of course, we kind of we try to boil that down for you by showing you the, the one with the greatest uplift based on the main conversion being tracked. If you were to want really um, specifics, anal specific analytics that you might have on GA4, you can easily connect your um, account with GA4, no problem. So that's something we support as well. That's it for the tutorial, guys. Thank you for watching.